What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Jim, and I am back again with another Relicify reaction video. You guys really do seem to enjoy when I do these. Um, you say it kind of helps you get a second take on things, so I try to do these when videos like this come out, and we're going to be reacting today to a very ironic title. The Pokemon community is incapable of discussion. Now, we're going to get into a little backstory here. If you know Relicify, you know why this is a very ironic and very hypocritical, I should add, um, title, but if you don't know Verlicify, he is one of the kings of blocking anyone who either A, opposes his viewpoints, or B, straight up disproves him. Now, if you go on his Twitter, he will post a lot of examples of people who go at him, you know, acting like a child, you know, insulting him, posting, you know, memes or L ratio, whatever, and he uses them as the overall general viewpoint of everyone who goes at me does not have a claim, and therefore I am the best. That is what Relicify does. But he blocks anyone who actually brings a valid point. I'm gonna provide you two examples of this. Um, the first one I'm gonna put straight up on the screen right now. I'm not gonna to try to get in too much depth on these, but um, the first, this is how I got blocked on Twitter by him. Now this is from an alt account, and um, it was when he was doing the Pokemon Challenges Nuzlocke controversy that he started where he was saying that Pokemon challenges cheated because he would put in rare candies under his viewers once, and um, you know he would use that to avoid grinding. And his own claim, his own source, Bulbapedia, disproved him by saying that only two rules are fundamental for a Nuzlocke. So I went to him and I, I told him this. I said that your own source says that it's allowed and also challenge is subjective. You, you can read the thing right there. But um, this got me blocked on and all. It's not actually on my main Twitter because I'm, I'm, I was already blocked on him by that. Why? I don't remember. But and no response, just straight blocked. So, of course, I went to him with actual evidence. I went to him, you know, with actually making a basis of a claim, and he blocked me. He didn't post me. He didn't react to me. He had no response because it was, it was just how it is. And the second one, um, I'm going to sum this up too. And if anyone has a way to actually get this in the Wayback Machine, please let me know. But I actually got blocked by him on YouTube a few years ago because he was doing a BDSP breeding live stream. And I went on the live stream. And um, if you guys know, I do a lot of, I do giveaways on YouTube. I do live streams. So I give away legit Pokemon. I don't really hack them in. I have done cloned giveaways in the past with um, Hackmons and I don't do that anymore. Um, but I've done a lot of legit ones too. And one of the legit ones was Reggie Drago that I got by glitching dittos in in red blue through the ADF glitch. Might sound familiar. A certain YouTuber's done that and traded him for Reggie Drago on the GTS. Again, something another YouTuber, hint hint, has done. And I went on his stream and I offered this. I'm sorry that you guys heard my phone. I don't even know where it is right now. Um, hopefully that doesn't ding too much in the stream, but or the video. But um, I went on here and I went on his chat because I knew he would block me for this. And I kind of baited him into it because I knew he would make a false claim. And I wanted to see how he would react. And I went on there and I said, hey, guys, I have these Reggie Dragos for my Reggie Drago giveaway. Who wants one? I have spares because I did a live stream of it. And Relicify responded to it live. And he literally said, and this is my quote, um, Reggie Drago giveaway is impossible. You can only get one. You are hacking. And uh, this is when I had a second BGC account because I was trying to kind of test with an alt Pokemon account and um, trying to see how it would run. And he specifically said the VGC in your name says it all. So simply my name being VGC proved I was a cheater. And I explained in the chat before he blocked me um, how I got them. And I specifically stated it. There was a method he had used as well. And he ignored it, but his mod responded to it and said that I need to quit defending my hacking. And I think it was his mod who blocked me. Um, it was either the list fire or the mod. I don't remember, probably the mod. But um, again, this goes back to this title right here. And that's why I told you these stories. Verlicify is incapable of discussion. That if you prove him wrong or you do anything of the kind, he will block you. So luckily we have the playback speed on 1.5 here. Um, so I don't have to listen to him for 25 minutes. But let's get into this. Let's not waste any more time. Um, I apologize for the stories, but I did feel like I had to let you guys know because it's important to the title. He blocks anyone and you can ask people and they get blocked for the silliest things. You can actually go back to his observation video. I will link it in the comments or in the description, but um, you can see some of the things that have gotten people blocked on past um, videos of his on his YouTube channel. And it's actually ridiculous. So let's get into this and let's not waste any more time. I found it. The Pokemon community being so toxic that it proves beyond any doubt 
I'm not the problem. And on a TCG post, does of all not. Things. So um, saw this from Poke Beach. Thought it was funny. It's a Reddit meme about some of the new card art. My son just pulled this hardware. It's supposed to have a Pokemon on it, but it's just a stupid tree. They forgot to include the Pokemon. Quality control of Pokemon cards have really gone downhill lately. So yeah, obviously just like a joke post and a meme. But this is actually something I've been thinking about for a while, especially okay, when like so new card art and new sets of Pokemon pops in my feed. It seems like the designs for the let's, art. Let's see this. I, I of course he's gonna put in his two cents. But let's see what he said. Let's see if it's actually reasonable. Aside from the joke post, this is something I've been interested in looking into. I thought there have been interviews and articles on card art rules in the past that restrict the Pokemon to be very prominently featured and identifiable and that multiple art species weren't allowed, etc. It just feels like a lot of cards break through all the rules. Okay, so I've, I will give him credit here. You guys have told me in the past that sometimes I need to not bring bias into these videos, and I do take the constructive criticism. So here's where I will give him credit. He doesn't act like it's an absolute. I thought, okay. Usually he goes into things saying it's a guarantee like he did with the Pimp Knight uh, scandal where he claimed that Pimp Knight had to have, you know, modded it and it ended up being false. So he's going into this a little better and, you know, it's not like a horrible post. So, but again, um, so this is an example he is bringing up and I feel like he doesn't do a lot of videos on what he says because a lot of what he says is pretty crappy. And I can even put some examples on the screen right now if need be. <laughs> I might um, of just him trashing people on Twitter. But, um, you know, this isn't controversial. It's him just stating something. I don't know about the script thing, but let's see how people respond to him. And we might actually provide some basis as to why people respond to him the way they do. But let's 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 see. Has been drastically different. Has like all kinds of like more humans involved, different species, less focus on like one main Pokemon. I, I haven't so I heard kind of about this, so I don't know. Aside from the joke post. So I didn't even like fall for the bait of this post to get angry about. We're just like, look at how stupid and talk Pokemon community if they can't even see this. No, obviously it's a joke. But the expectation that I'd be like negative about it or something, even though other people fell for this. So literally, I've been interested in not one person looked at this tweet, uh, post by um, Poke Beach, and thought Verlissify is gonna get mad at this. As much as surprise, as much of a surprise as it may be um, to Virginify, people do not think about him that much. Uh, people legitimately don't care about him that much. He brought himself into it. Like he he brought himself into it. So you know. I thought there's been interviews and articles on card art rules in the past where you could see that they were more strict. Pokemon used to be very prominently featured and identifiable and that other species weren't allowed. It feels like a lot of new cards break all the rules. And again, this is just an observation I've had over the last couple of years, and I felt like this was a good place and good post to put this on. Seems like a reasonable question, because if anything, maybe we get a response from Poke Beach. maybe the community is like, oh yeah, you might have thought about this interview, or maybe this thing, and other people just kind of observing the so, same thing, because so, it seems to be a fact. Hold on, that I guess we're going to pause a lot. He has done nothing but trash the community um just i'm gonna actually reference some of the things i put before um because i know i put his negative tweets to kind of introduce for anyone who's new to kind of introduce the kind of person he is um he denied a kid with uh cancer a pokemon battle and told him to make it send it to make a wish to make it more memorable he advertised his vgc video a vgc scandal where a kid got um a dude got disqualified for whatever reason i can't remember specific but he advertised it on a school shooting um news article in order to uh, compare the two almost and um he called a uh, this isn't on twitter but he called someone a bad dad for jenning and told him that he feels bad for the kid and he expects people to just go to him and he expects poke beach a professional news source i don't know about professional actually i know they're pretty popular i apologize for that oh my god um <laughs> And he expects people to just go to him with all kindness, despite doing the crappy things he's done. He expects people to just go to him and be like, oh, yeah, Verlissify, my man. Yeah, respond to this Poke Beach. It's, it's not an honor, Verlissify. This is it's ego. Card art has had different rules compared to the past, especially if you grew up with it like I have from base set. So it looks like we're in a good place to have an interesting discussion about Pokemon cards, right? No, nobody cares what you think. The new art cards rock. Except I didn't say anything negative or disparage the card or the post at all. So this really shows that most of the Pokemon community just lives for hate and negativity, also backed up by the incredible- One person. Uh, yeah, the likes. And I, I will say, um, this person, obviously, and this is a big issue that I have stated with the kind of Ver Verlissify loophole, that people will just assume anything Verlissify says is wrong or negative just because it's Verlissify. And yeah... I, I know I, it sounds like I'm contradicting what I said before. I, I obviously I don't agree with this. It's obviously not what he said. But my point being, Verlissify goes into things being a crappy person, and then he expects everyone to just be on board with him. It's like a it's like a loophole of negativity where Verlissify does crappy things, expects everyone to be on his good side, and instead of people you know picking the right time and place to 
you know, prove him wrong. They just go at him with this. And then that's why this video exists. Because like I said, he will only post if you say something that is inherently incorrect about him. And if you actually disprove him, you won't be in the video or anywhere. Holy high like ratio. So right after Elon bought Twitter, he said the average like to view ratio was like one to 1.5%. So that's a good gauge to kind of see how a post is doing. And anything that goes above that or even well above that kind of shows it's a much more engaged and agreed upon thing. And generally in replies, you're going to see a lower amount of likes. I do think it's funny likes, that this also got just like more the likes, culture of and going for ratios and stuff, regardless if they're just deranged or not. So yeah, I, I think I have a good response here. I didn't give an opinion on the new card art you are projecting because I live rent-free in your de deranged mind. That's and again, all the haters. again, this is what it goes back to is that, like I said, I'm going to repeat this a lot in the video. If you go at him and you're incorrect about something or you put words in his, you go at him with ad hominem or you put words in his mouth, whatever, he's going to respond to you because you make him look good. And this is another reason I actually wanted to make this video. I'm going to kind of tell you my thesis on this video. Do not go at Verlicify unless it's the right time, right place, right moment, guys, because we are giving him firepower when we say things like this, because it's it's wrong. And it's funny, but it's still wrong. You know, he didn't say anything like this. So you are giving him firepower to post you because you you just took your blind hatred at him. They, they see me and they immediately go to hate, no matter how correct I am, or even if I'm just asking a question. They fabricate things I've never said every time, all day, every day. This is even going on with other posts because everyone's hating on Dragon's Dogma 2, a single player game for having microtransactions, even though you can just go to one of my recent videos where people are mad at me and saying like, oh, I'm Helldivers 2 can't be pay to win because it's I... not a multiplayer game. Even though I never said Helldivers 2 is a pay to win game I, I, in that video, I, I... again, people just projecting things I never said because they only want to be hateful and just a part of this outrage. I'd rather sit through a online. DVD so microtransactions in Helldivers 2 are okay that. because it's a PvE game, but a single player PvE game is not allowed to have microtransactions and then people are just like non-stop saying oh this is going to kill the game this is the worst thing and i made the objective post like well the game's actually growing in audience and it's hitting higher highs and higher lows so that's not slowing anyone down now, people complaining are just brats I'm, I'm probably not gonna say a lot on the game itself because i genuinely don't know the game but um perfect pause this is what i this this is the general thing that i stand against this is so true and i agree just not with you so you know it's you can agree with somebody and not like them on certain things. Like, I agree with Verlisify that VGC and Jenning is wrong, for example. I don't agree with the way he goes about it, trashing every creator, assuming every VGC player is a bad person or hacking just because they sit in a VGC podium. So, like, telling someone they feel bad for their kid that they have to grow up with a cheating father, like Verlisify did, things like this I don't agree with. Now, I guess... The context of how he says this is true he could he could live this dude could literally mean what i mean he could literally be saying like oh yeah it's true but i don't like the way you're going about it now again i'm, I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys i don't know a lot about this game i don't know much about the stats on it so i'm not gonna sit here and comment on it i will say though that verlicify is not really one to bring up stats and be very reliable but you guys might be more informed than me on the game and stuff, so let's just kind of listen and see where he goes. And then, this is true, and I agree, just not with you. I see this comment non-stop all day, every day. And because I'm an adjusted, rational person, Because you go about things in such a bad way. Kind of behavior like this because I've never partaken you in trash it myself. People. That over the That's... last decade of my channel, just like proving the insane hypocrisy. He just said, all right, everything I posted before, guys, right back up on screen. Um, hopefully... Um, if not, it's still back there because he's never engaged in negative drama or controversy. Um, there's probably just going to be a crap load of stuff I put up on the screen, so you'll have to excuse it. But, um, you know, I'll probably just post it all in a photo thing before. But, yeah, no, he's he's never engaged with negative. He's never done anything negative in his life. Toxicity and derangement in the Pokemon community. But also, it's like gaming and social media, and I've been making commentary on that. It's absolutely insane. So, yeah, these guys just, like, love to hate bandwagon, even though they're just making things up about me, things I never said. It's crazy. But we got more. Go back to spinning signs, Tony. You know they're just a complete weirdo when they try to, like, use your real name, even though, like, my alias is what I go by. You're not you're not getting any point across. You didn't find any secret information about me, or you're trying to, like, like that's some weird parasocial stuff. You're, you're not my mom. And you also have, like, absolutely no relevance to me or my life. So using my name that I don't go by online does nothing. Like, it doesn't add anything I'm to sorry. it. It just shows that you're an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to hold it. <laughs> you're not my mom. You have no relevance to me. <laughs> You're not my mom.
So I go, you need to seek help for all that toxicity and negativity you carry. Because again, like this has nothing to do with my comment. I didn't say anything negative or disparaging. I tried to open the discussion, but these people just have hate on the mind. So that's all they know. And then, you know, they got triggered by an observation. Yeah, they absolutely need to seek help. And of course, that's just going to make them spiral into nonsense. Hey, I think a smarmy AI defending, and now just like straight into insults as well, which is what they accuse me of. Oh, for listening insults everyone by calling them idiots, even though they were that is a good video to watch. Kind of makes them an idiot by definition. After this uh, video, they were allowed to, like, they were allowed to hate me, you know, you me making exposed videos on someone else for the fact that Wolfie cheats or revealing how Pokemon challenges is evil and all the other bad actors in the Pokemon community like A Drive, that's not allowed. That's forbidden. That makes me the worst person ever. But anyone is free to lie about me. Yeah, you actually get more credit, the stronger AI the lie, the better it is. Thank you, Azir. Please call the regard art. Take a look back at yourself and realize your lack of value. You see, this is, this is, again, a comment I don't agree with. It's, I mean, it's, guys, this is what I mean. Right time, right place. Fine, you, Relicify will give you the moments to go at him. And trust me, you will be blocked instead of getting videos like this. But at least you didn't say something like this that just isn't much better than him is to attack and expose and berate me. So again, just like more hypocrisy, more double standards and cognitive dissonance. That's all they know because they have no argument against me. They are incapable of positive contributions to their communities or even society. They're just a sack of meat and bones piloted by hate. Which now don't get me wrong. I'm the type of person where, you know, I, I believe treat people how you want to be treated, but I also believe you set yourself up for crap. And I will acknowledge, I call him virginify. I do, 100%. But, you know, if you really want to go at him and you want to disprove him, you cannot go on something where he was casual and then just start trashing him. You have to pick the right time, right place. Back on yourself and realize your lack of value. Crazy projection right there. And politely kick bricks. So then link your playlist. That's the kind of stuff that allegedly has all the things I've done wrong. And I ask for an example. So this is another thing that if you like follow me on Twitter or also you just like watch a lot of my videos or just look around at all the hate around me, I ask, I beg, and I even beg in videos. I beg on Twitter threads. I beg everywhere. Please give one example of something I've gotten wrong. And then when you do it, he blocks you. Person. And every time I ask, they always when you leave. do it, he blocks respond, you. never give anything. Or they just link a video and say, there's your proof. And then I ask for one example. Like, if there's so much, if I've done so many things wrong, it should be trivial to give one concrete thing that I've done wrong. Oh, when they show you it, you block it. them. It the video is bullshit. I've already debunked everything in the playlist, and I'll happily do it again for any example, which is why I request, like, okay, what's the worst thing you think I've done? I can easily dismiss it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, a decade okay. Um, like I said, I think the worst thing Relisify has probably done. Um, two things. Um, again, we already talked about it. He advertised his VGC video uh, comparing it, maybe not directly comparing it, but he he clearly felt it was relevant and close enough to a literal school shooting. But um, also on top of that, I mean, not on top of that, I mean, I, they're both pretty dang horrible. But um, he also, you know, told a kid with cancer who wanted to battle him to send it to Make-A-Wish to make it more memorable. Um, these are equal. These are, I don't know if they're equal. Um, I think you could really argue both are freaking horrible things to do. Um, I, I don't even want to make an argument for either because it's just inexcusable in both ends. But, um, there you go, but let's I mean, he won't, he would, if he did watch this video, if, even if he did respond to it, he would keep this part out and he would probably block out all the parts where I show his tweets. But, um, yeah, those are probably two. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. If you got this far, let me know in the comments what you think the worst thing Verlissify has done is. Let me know you got this far in the video by letting me know. Hate of hating for no valid reason. Big, big seek help right there. Your lack of comment on the AI stuff is rather telling, even though I've explained it countless times, and it's, it's very simple. Human artists and AI trained by viewing publicly accessible art without permission, so there's no theft unless all human artists are theft. With the most basic of common sense, it's easy to see how there's no theft in the training of general AI art models. So it's like, and that's also like a new thing. And again, this is something he can actually me, me before I like started build an argument on, stuff so he's so gonna he respond to it, but... And now you're just trying to like make up all this stuff or retroactively hate me because I support AI. That's also you being in the wrong. So yeah, I've never done it. And also, yeah, something contrarian. A decade of contrarianism and self-aggrandizing prattle. I mean, that's also just more He's a contrarian. You know, that's like, give, very give true. Give one example. Find one example of me being contrarian. Never happened. I've always hated Smogon. I didn't go, hmm, Um, the? Let's see. Uh, Legends Arceus, the biggest, absolute, largest example. Um, hates Legends just because it has Legends in the title. Um, everything, I mean, he played the game for an hour, yet he feels like he has a right to say he hates it. Um... He, he does give Heart Gold Soul Silver credit, so I will give him that, but he thinks Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is better than the game, which, of course, we're all open to our own opinions, but... Really? Relicify? You think he believes that? Um, no, but the community doesn't like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so he does. Um, find anything. He There's a reason he always gets into debates and comes off as a donkey hole, um, because he always feels like he has to disagree with people, so, you know.
what's the biggest way to grow my channel? Oh, I got it. Hate on the largest competitive Pokemon community, and also just like most of the Pokemon community, because even non-competitive players there. In his own words, in his own words, hating smoke on Prince money. So. No, that, that's not how you do it. Like that's the thing. Like controversy, drama that hasn't been able to grow channels since Leafy got terminated. After that, YouTube said no, dislikes actually hurt you in the algorithm, and anything controversial gets you suppressed. And also, we're seeing like more hate, more toxicity, more mob mentality and mass formation. So if you're not with the popular thing, social media consumes and suppresses you, and everyone knows the tricks. Hate brigades don't exist to attack the creator because it used to be Should personal. We used to be, Yo, let's bully this person for disagreeing with us off the internet, and then hopefully we'll never see them again. Not to know, we're going to target them in the algorithm. It's deliberate suppression attacks. So upsetting more people has absolutely no way of growing, so it's not a good strategy. But I'm also not fake. I'm going to be honest and have the same opinions I've always had. All of my absolutely reactions to Pokemon fake. News are live. It's impossible um, for me to wait and then gauge what people are thinking about it and then be a contrarian about it because it's all an initial thing. I love Pokemon Let's Go on the start. I supported Pokemon Sword and Shield from the very beginning. I teared up when I saw that first trailer from the Pokemon Presents, and then I held through because, oh, bring back National Dex is stupid. And I saw that as it was happening live through the E3 demo. I went, yeah, this isn't that big of a problem. Actually, it's a good thing because there's just way too much Pokemon bloat. This is going to make like the meta better. As we learn Pokemon Let's Go, reduced decks can be a good thing. And I never cared for completing the decks, and Pokemon Home has all of your Pokemon safe and happy anyways. He, there's no he, problem. He kind of just proved his own point because let's use some common sense here. Let's use some common sense here. Um, looking back to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, um, I, I honestly can't speak on whether he loved it or not going back. I don't fully know. Um, but again, Legends Arceus, a prime example of him being a contrarian. Who actually looks at the national decks cut and thinks, oh yeah, community's going to love this. I'm going to be on board with it. Now, I've kind of told you guys, I'm content with it. I'm not the type that's like, yeah, I love that. I don't love the national decks cut. Um, obviously, I wish all Pokemon could be in the game. But again, this just goes back to if Verlissify, I'm not saying if you are cool with it or you like it, you are a contrarian, but it's every instance. Every time the Pokemon community likes something, Verlissify hates it down to the bone without any evidence or anything to back it up. And if the community is against something or they think, well, this looks dumb, Verlissify will hop on the bandwagon, the anti-bandwagon, and be like, you guys are toxic, this is stupid, this sucks, and you know, that's just, that's how he is. It's, you know. Only after did that become a problem. It's almost like the Pokemon community is contrary to me. The hate against me is so prevalent, a lot of people say, if I want cheating to go away in Pokemon, I just need to support Genic. So yeah, I ask for an example, Again, they deflect, they dodge, I can to ask believes that the community goes at him. And then they just never respond and they never give an example. And that's like the 5,000th time that it's happened. So like, how, how? worthless do you have to be to fabricate hate of someone else and just make things up that also goes back to the other post where it's like you are projecting words i didn't say same thing on the hell divers 2 and no point in the video did i say hell divers 2 is pay to win or that it would be a bad thing if it was they just projected that onto me because oh now we're Again, in the hell divers the fifth squad and anything game, that's challenging so any kind really of thought no matter what it's doing or if it just look up the optics don't agree I don't, with what i, I perceive it to I be i'm just going to project and then attack over it big problem with social media gaming everything now there was some discussion that i was looking for and this is why i wanted to bounce some other things off of so we do find a little bit in the community which is a good thing pokemon need to be very prominently featured and identifiable and that multiple other species weren't allowed if i recall these were the rules for the pokemon art contest full-time illustrators likely adhere to a different set of rules now i disagree with this part but again that's discussed okay hold, hold on hold on hold on so the pokemon company be very prominently featured and identifiable and that multiple other artists aren't allowed that was the rules for a pokemon art contest Okay, so I 100% respect to this person. Um, he went to Verlissify, and, you know, the full-time illustrators likely adhere to a different set of rules. So he's picking a very tiny example of, well, I disagree with this guy, but whatever, that's chill. Very small example, of, but if you disagree with him on anything else or oppose him, like, don't let this video fool you guys. I, I showed you two examples earlier, and again, I'm actually going to post it if you want to watch it after this video, um, check out my video where I react to his observation and you can actually look at some of the comments that are banned that have banned words and one of them is almost predictably black and white like Pokemon black and white was banned in his comment chat and flagged like yeah I'm not even making this up go to the video and look at all the flagged comments and try to pick what are the predictable words because a lot of them are just discussions like this that's all it takes to get um banned by him so you know check out that video um it's actually very interesting and i i actually that that's probably my biggest video where i like just provide as much evidence as possible but um let's continue this one discussion maybe there's a forum post maybe there's an interview maybe there's something specific to point to but I imagine that's going to be pretty similar unless the artist is specifically commissioned to have a multiple species piece for some reason and then i relate it to another post and interview that was on poke beach it doesn't have anything about the actual guidelines and rules but it does show like the critiquing process is pretty difficult and there's even a note about it from the maker of the article revising draft sounds like a difficult and stressful task because you you can't slip and there's even little bits right here you know having a single mountain background looks like a specific mountain maybe mount coronet or fuji be better to have a more generic mountain range so you can't like mix up locations in pokemon you can't have too many anatomy flaws when it comes out and then the pokemon design just needs to look as good as possible for the card art so you'd imagine that you know if you see other consistent trends like the lack 
of multiple species across hard art historically, that could be a rule or a guidance. And then the response from someone else is negativity because you have to prove Verlissify wrong. You have to show that he's an idiot and doesn't. All right, so let's talk about that. I do apologize for pausing. Um, there's a reason I put it to 1.75. But um, so again, two different things. A Pokemon art contest is totally different from an illustrator card. Now, the point of illustrator cards is they're meant to just be really cool, literally illustrations, special illustrations, where it's meant to not just depict a basic Pokemon somewhere else, but it's actually meant to showcase a, a scenario, something going on, you know? And a lot of them, yeah, it's just Applin out there, but it's a cool, unique card. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gonna be way different from an art contest where they have specific guidelines for people so they don't just go out there and do really small things. Because you could you imagine that Applin, could you could you imagine in the tiny little card box? I don't have a card on me, obviously, but um, that tiny that Applin description, tiny box, like it'd be weird. So make it the central focal point. So I mean, yeah, it, it totally makes sense. Let's read this. None of these are guidelines or rules, though. Besides, debatably, like coming and using generic mountain range, these seem like relatively generic critiques on an early draft. How is this negative? Here we go. How is this negative? Because they don't just bring up a point he disagrees with, they actually oppose him. Because he went into something be like, well, here's some of the things that seem like rules or stuff. And it's not really, it's just critiques. You know, critiques can be good or bad. You know, it's it's showcasing good thing critique. It's literally, like I said, it can be good, they can be bad. These are things they notice, or you know, things that fit, you know, make it good. So yeah, and you can you can agree or this guy or disagree, but uh, what part of this is this toxic? He just said he just opposed him. Here we go. He didn't just you know disagree with him. He just straight up kind of opposed what his viewpoint is. And for Lucifer, who he doesn't like that. Ooh, oh, oh. Doesn't know what he's talking about, even though this guy is just completely wrong in his arrangement. None of these are guidelines or rules, though, except for this guideline or rule. So there's always a but. There's always an except. There's always a however. So it's like, well, actually, no, we actually see rules inside of this post, which suggests there's other rules. And of course there are. And again, someone can be wrong and you can just correct them if it is, you know. These are just critiques. Just like they're not even really guidelines. Critique. Literally, they're just, you know, and this isn't a rule. Coming to use a generic mountain range. It's, it's a cool guideline. I mean, yeah, it's it's a rule or a guideline, but it's not really like it's I again, I'm not really seeing full out rules and I could be wrong. The point being, though, if I am wrong, I'm not an idiot. If this guy is wrong, he's not an idiot. You know, if someone is wrong, correct them. Verlissify, don't go calling him idiots ad hominems. This is why you get the comments that you do. You are being the exact type of person that this video is about. Go back early in. Look at that. You know, these people, Verlissify made a generic thing, nothing wrong with it. People went at him for it. This guy does a thing that is might not be fully correct, just like Verlissify's initial comment, and he's going calling him an idiot, calling him toxic. You know, this is the point. Verlissify, you are being a hypocrite and being the exact person you are trashing for people for in your own video. You can't make this up critiques on an early draft, but they're also pretty strict about it. This is another thing that happens a lot with the Verlissify derangement syndrome, that I can quote or reference someone else, but people only get mad at me, and they don't get mad he's at not the original mad. post information. Revising he's drafts sounds mad. like a difficult and stressful task, and there's also other information inside Yeah, these aren't the even whole. I actually want to read this. Hold up. Um, rear legs probably be visible. Yeah, these are just critiques. These aren't even guidelines or rules. They're just critiques. No rule should it say that every little, you know, I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon cards where not everything's visible, but this is a scenario where it is. So yeah, I mean, you could make an argument for this person. Whether you believe he's right or wrong, you could create a good argument because a lot of these aren't rules. You know, it's just, yeah. No, that doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. No, it's only me being toxic and negative because I made the observation that he didn't say that. And that it seems like You're putting words in his mouth just like you trash people for before. I'm trying not to pause, but you cannot make this up. This person just went at him, or didn't even go at him. He just made an opposing argument, and Verlissify is calling it derangement. You know, be, you know, jeez. I'm going to try to let him finish this. I am so sorry, guys, but holy crap. If there's rules and guidelines, which this person admits to, but then says it doesn't exist. Cognitive dissonance, hell of a drug. You really don't know how to enjoy anything, do you? And that's like where all the idiots have gotten so oppressive and all the toxicity and negativity has gotten so common, especially when it comes to Pokemon, that words lose meaning, but they also become more 
accurate as time goes on. That like, yeah, you can just say everyone's projecting, but it really seems like everyone's projecting. It's like, oh, you're the miserable cretin, and here's a lie about you to prove it. It's like, well, I mean, you're so miserable, and you acknowledge your own lack of self-worth, so you have to make up reasons to hate other people, because you have no other contribution. Right here, it's like, this person clearly doesn't know how to enjoy anything, because he's projecting his lack of enjoyment onto something I never said. You know, I'm here trying to enhance my enjoyment by, dig up inf by digging up information, by expanding what I know about Pokemon, because I find this to be an interesting Look at that. He's doing the Maybe exact thing he just that. trashed so the guy the before for these doing. miserable people to try to dump their misery and hate onto. And then that's just like perfectly accurate, especially when you kind of see how consistent it is and how much it just keeps on happening. And then we have a sense win. That's kind of the whole point of my initial observations. Like it seems like the very beginning, it was just the Pokemon with rare exception. And that is actually a fact. But before we get into that, one more. Dude, no one cares about your opinion on Pokemon cards. You've been regarded as one of the worst Pokemon players for a decade. Objectively a lie that I have over a decade of massive success and consistent elite level of play in Pokemon battles. But even like how I perform in Pokemon battles has nothing to do with like me as a general Pokemon fan or my interest in the Pokemon. Yeah, because when you use so six stall mons in a battle and you just paralyze and burn everything. It's really skillful. Now, don't get me wrong. I have done videos where I did literally just, if you watch my multi-battle, I'm gonna just call myself out, guys. I've done multi-battles where I literally just burn the crap out of opponents. I'm not the best multi-battler. I'm not a full pro Pokemon player. Um, if I wanna be pro, I'll go on ranked, which actually we are doing tonight, actually, fun fact live. So first thing on that, but um, you know, it's just for fun. I'm not out here saying I'm the best Pokemon player out here. I have a, and if you go on his Twitter, he literally says he's the number one Pokemon player because he uses stall. So point being, use Pokemon that you want, but don't, you know, you tick your opponents off at every end and then claim you're the best player. It's only they only know how to hate and support hate. Also ignoring that I'm actually the best Pokemon player in the world because all the other top players are proven cheaters, which disqualifies them from any form of discussion. Oh also my gosh, the absolute! This is what I said. <laughs> This is what I was saying. He is the proven best Pokemon player in the world because all other players are hackers. I actually have to tell you guys a small story about this. So um, I had an actual example where I didn't get blocked. I went to Verlis and I actually questioned him on this exact thing. Because if you go on Kurtz, you know, Verlisify's, you know, source for VGC hacking, he actually has a lot of players that play legit. And I actually asked Verlicify, I went to him and I was like, how can you claim you are the best player in the world when if even one of those players is playing legit out of the hundreds, they are objectively higher ranked than you. And Verlicify's argument was, and I quote, you know, um, he said something along the line, this is a long time ago, but he said something along the lines of, well, you can have a legal team that passes a hack check and still be a hacker. They are all hackers. Um, so, I mean, again, I, I actually, I think I could pull that up. I'm going to have that in the thing if I can. Um, I don't know. What, uh, if it's up there, I will. But that was his argument. And then people went at me with, like, really weird arguments at it. And, um, you know, and it's just, it's, it's how Verlisfy is. So, you know, he's not the best player in the world because he believes he is. Um, I mean, you a lot of the players he actually likes, like Justin Flynn, have absolutely whooped him in Wi-Fi battles. If you look at um, videos of it, and you know he likes Justin Flynn, so unless he has something bad to say about him, um, you know, it, yeah, he's he's not the best player in the world. But this is what I mean. He's very egotistic, very deranged, uh, narcissistic. So there's a long history of me being the best and undefeated before I started YouTube. Like, Generation 4, I was king. So one dude came in and says, not. this proves you wrong, and I can give you another 100 examples from the earlier set of multiple species of Pokemon, and it was a post with White Jolteon. Problem, that's one of two from the Neo Destiny set that shows multiple, like, different species of Pokemon, not from the same evolutionary line. Which is also another observation. Like, yeah, it's fine. You have the pre-evolution in the card, and it doesn't take up any significant space in the card. The other one being, like, Wigglytuff, which is actually hard to see, so you click on it, like, oh, Caterpie just looks like grass and he's just chilling there, so it doesn't even, like, stand out. So it seems like this is one of the first examples of it happening, but it takes until Generation 2 set, and it's still extremely rare. It being, doesn't, like, two it, it doesn't take, take until a Generation 2 set. Um, do I gotta go out, do I gotta go pull out the base set binder right now? and find cards that had like multiple mons in it if i can remember some specific examples of the original base set um there was a weedle card that i'm pretty sure had a bunch of weedles in the background just as just as an example um i believe there was a pikachu card that had a few in the back as well and yeah no it's not it's not the only example i <laughs> if i could try to find some right now i'll put them up on screen once again but um you know no it's I mean, they, it just wasn't common back then, but it still happened. 
but that doesn't really prove me wrong or confirm I was trying to be negative and controversial like all of these posts are trying to say. And if you go back to the base set, base set was just the Pokemon, prominently featured, and that seemed to set the okay, tone so for a good little, long so while. And there's other trends that I've noticed, which is why I'm looking for. I'm looking for trends. Maybe there is an interview. Maybe there are some guidelines that have gotten out about Pokemon card design. Then we can kind of see how all of this turns into a discussion for the post. Yeah, you can't confuse it when it's like this is one of the first exposures of Pokemon. So then this guy's like, "Severless Fire, you're just toxic and hateful, and you can never admit you're wrong." And then I went, "Well, there's not an example from EX Ruby Sapphire." So showing that if we're doing like, a set of the generation, watch. it's going to be just those Pokemon, especially if the Pokemon is new. So the Pokemon community wasn't miserable and just blindly hated me. We could actually have some really good discussion because observation no we could has already been because every time someone here. tries to go at you with a good discussion you block them because you cannot accept that you can be wrong about things and the only reason you're doing this video is because you have an objective argument and if you didn't have an objective argument this video wouldn't exist everyone would just be blocked and move on card art it can have other species we have like a generation one pokemon kind of sharing space with some other pokemon and also it seems like a different thing you know this is not just wiggly tough it's light wiggly tough so alternative versions of pokemon might also have something where it's like oh we have the light versions interacting with other pokemon because it seems like a nice fun light-hearted thing and these are also previous generation pokemon uh the togepi in here is kind of weird but like togepi was also established in generation one and maybe had a card before neo destiny because neo genesis came first so neo destiny i don't even know what argument he's making right now it's just off the rail someone pointed out of like multiple species being in so again like kind of showing that for a while or at least still primarily there's going to be set rules about how it goes and then ruby sapphire still has none he's reminding me of the arguments i have when I was like the very people online where I would try to find every little niche so example dude is lying to prove he says he can wrong. Get examples because like, he has dude, two from one I, set in three generations. Well, I gotta tell you guys this. Back in like fifth grade, um, I got in an argument with this dude on like Facebook or whatever about freaking the Pokemon anime because the dude was saying like they never give series specific names. This is during XY where they were starting to break that trend. And I literally single-handedly typed every single Pokemon series name you know, Indigo League, Orange Island, Johto Journeys, um, Master Quest, Johto League Champion, whatever. Type every single one up to XY just to prove this guy wrong. Like, Verlissify is reminding me of my old middle, like, elementary middle school self where I just felt like I had to bring up every little example of something and I just had to get you. I got you. You know, like, geez, man. Uh, this guy, you know, there are more card arts in that set alone with multiple Pokemon. You clearly didn't look hard enough. I was just skimming because I was saying about uh, Ruby Sapphire, not Neo Destiny. And there's also other sets that came before it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. Like, there's a lot of sets talking about Neo. Two examples over two generations. Stop moving the goalposts and take the L. Well, I haven't moved any goalposts here. I didn't say it never happened before. I'm just saying, like, it seems like the guidelines are against it or there's more strictness about having multiple species. And clearly, having the same evolutionary line isn't going to count for this argument because it doesn't distract from the theme. And then we have another one that kind of gets a little deeper and expands the discussion. I don't know if I'd really count this one as fully featured, but it technically goes as far back as Gym Heroes with a separate species getting their hair braided by Tengla. And that's correct. Like, these are things I'm looking for. This is interesting. It, it makes the discussion a lot more nuanced. Does it debunk me? Because no. they agree Would with I them. I realized or known about this if someone didn't feel like contributing to the discussion? Also, no. So here I'm trying to paint a picture, understand what's going on, use history and things, but there's just like an overwhelming amount of hate. See, he's using this scenario the as the absolute. Like, yeah, like general example, wrong. and it's I just other not. Other species do not include evolutionary lines. So I'm not moving goalposts. It's not like I secretly tried to weasel my way out of that. No, my intention was always, well, if it's also from the evolutionary line, of course, that's not. That's going like, to be treated differently. Twitter I, I got to pause here. Guys, worse. this is not how he generally argues. He will not generally give you credit and be like, all right, this is a good argument. He's using, he's cherry picking this one little instance to act like this is how he always acts, and it's just not. Um, as I showed you guys before, went to him with an example disproving his challenges vid um and he just blocked me he didn't he didn't respond to it he didn't have an argument he just blocked me because i absolutely proved him wrong and this is just not how he generally acts but he's trying to paint a face guys he's trying to paint a picture of well i am always going to people being nice even though we literally saw earlier when a person opposed his viewpoints on guidelines didn't insult him didn't ad hominem him you know, didn't go out of relevancy, that person was wrong, they were delusional, like, he literally did it in this video, because he, uh, when you get so far into narcissism and, you know, an ego issue, you can't even hold face for 20 minutes, for 19 minutes in, you can't even hold it in this whole video, but he switched so fast, right? Do you, you can literally see the switch worse every day, but at the same time I'm trying to convince it to not make it super wordy, but again, it's just kind of project projection into things I never said. So looking at the list of cards, it's hard to see the green caterpillar in grass. So yes, yeah, like this person's like, oh, you missed it, you're blind, you're just completely wrong. So that's it, like two examples in a whole set, isn't proving me wrong, we're taking an L. No, we must hate on her list five, and we must support all of this derangement that actually doesn't prove anything wrong about anything you said or done. Great. And then 13's it's a big weird. number, that's a lot more than he gets. I mean, Nidoran and Dragon Frontiers. That's a difference. That is, that's something completely different. So if you watch the podcast I'm one of the hosts of, also if you don't, watch it, RMTS. Uh, we've been bringing up like how Reddit is just successful. And stuff like this that really shows the extreme narcissism that has infected social media. So one Reddit post was like a woodworking thing where someone's like, hey, how do I do this? And someone just like, you know, glue it, nail it, put it together. And then the response under that was boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So someone wanted their fake internet points and their little three seconds of people agreeing with them and their micro fame to be completely unhelpful. A Lord of the Rings quote in response to a question where someone's asking for genuine help in a community is narcissism. It's deranged. So we have the same thing here. We're like, well, 
I'm, I'm asking something completely different. This guy thinks he got me while being completely wrong and also kind of like proving me more right. Dragon Frontiers he is did. the end of Generation 3. I'm sure there's multiple you. species of Pokemon and other cards in these sets. That means we have three examples. He, was, he, was, three he may generations. have been incorrect about something. Like just correct him. Why do you have to attack him? Them like... for an hour just to find one other example to think that that's an own same thing with this guy ex ruby sapphire is two cards with different pokemon i don't recall seeing that which ones energy switch and switch so just an idiot using trainer cards which aren't about featuring a pokemon and then this person says ex ruby sapphire yes, is the only set that doesn't have that. Totally, except yeah. for the other generation one sets except for one example in the gym hero set and it seems like probably many other sets as well why are you trying to make it make that the rule when it clearly isn't even though again just like the fabrications of an ill mind are fascinating and then we get some civil discourse a little bit of rationality in this insane community where one of the goals like hey maybe the person posting this pokemon one of the most knowledgeable people when it comes to pokemon cards and pokemon card history gives a little bit of insight and then can further develop what's going on. Maybe they have the interview. Maybe they just have like a hard debunk against it. But at least we get a little bit of something. Answer. Illustration rares are supposed to show Pokemon in their environment. Regular cards focus on the Pokemon. There we go. And that's one of those things like, yes, that feels like the observation. Regular cards focus on the Pokemon. Do we have a hard rule or interview about it? No. But it seems to just kind of be a strong guideline. That's that's literally what he said earlier, though, that it was almost a rule and um, that, you know, they do that. That was literally his argument earlier, wasn't it? This isn't, you know, that's just literally what I was saying. Illustration is supposed to show Pokemon in their environment. I literally, without any research, literally said this for Lissify. Come on. Uh, let's use his logic against him. He should have just known, right? Because it's common sense, right? Because according to Lissify, you have to know everything. I hadn't even gotten to this point in the video yet. And yet I literally told you guys that the illustration rares are meant to get a Pokemon out there. It's meant to show scenarios and stuff you know environment i don't know if i said environment specifically probably not but the general point is the same so relicify you know didn't get it he's an idiot he's delusional he's all these things you know there's his logic there's his own logic used against him that holds true for 98 percent of cards in a set except for what feels like recently however that can also just be like biased through observing illustration rares because i see way more illustration rare posts on reddit social media facebook twitter just in general because those are the flashy cards those are the chase cards those are like the ones that look really cool and have more going on but those are allowed to bend the rules because it's an alternative form it shows the pokemon in their environment which includes other trainers which includes other pokemon things that are Most traditionally absent are from regular cheap. cards especially in the past and i note on that it makes a lot of sense with this being the same applin card it explains the higher frequency of seeing non-standard card art because Actually, there's been illustration rares on generation 8 i believe like, again, those oh, are the ones that get a lot more attention really. so it feels like cool, there's more rules being broken for the tcg card art even though the regular cards are still it's not a rule same, but even then, like, you literally just said earlier eight. it's not a rule it's not a specific rule for Lucify. you're contradicting yourself goodness gracious just general like looking at tcg sets seems like there's almost a little done, bit more guys. variety a little bit more leeway in species done. interacting and pokemon card prevalent because like yes that is an applin card this as a standard applin card would be a quality control failure unironically outside the post as you can see it's a different rule set because different kind of cards and we also have like interviews and other stuff and the one guy talking about the art illustration contest you can see the art illustration contest is about primarily featuring the pokemon some rules say you can have other species but i believe there's also been other rules in the past say like no just this pokemon so yeah those are the shenanigans i got into over the last couple of days and anyone that's been following my channel and understands how rotten the pokemon community has become saw this as the outcomes like yeah, everything yeah, is watching this everything video is, like, really showed me trash, a very garbage, rotten except Pokey for like YouTuber. a few randoms that are passionate and actually real pokemon fans everyone else just like projects because i live rent free in their mind and the only thing they can do is hate because they have no functioning brain whatsoever These people they never have Interactions and they can't even remember life or smartphone with like hands. Make a whole and video then about it. the actual like informed person or authority in the community might eventually step in and interact and then put it to rest or have like I'm not going to watch any of these so um we actually debunked this video pretty hard um yeah so I'm just going to stop here um so again the point of this video is the thing I want you guys to take from it is a do not let this video and you can honestly take a lot of parts from it and it shows realistify but do not let the little cherry picked moments make you think that this is how realistify is he does not really ever go into an opposing viewpoint and be like oh yeah i i respect no you, you just get blocked for it that that's how it is um so and the second thing is guys pick the right time and place when to prove realistify and get your gotcha moment this was not it this was this was a rare instance of him just going into something and being like okay i thought this was maybe the rule i mean he was wrong it's not really a rule but um you know he it, clearly his memory came from a pokemon art contest but you know people went at him and just dogged him because he was realistify guys you're gonna get nowhere if you do that you're building him firepower when you do that you give him the ability to be like well this person's pretty bad and yeah if you you know you're going at him without a basis you're gonna look pretty bad so you know pick the right time and place to go at him to not give him firepower because you're making him look better because you're not acting much better than he is in that moment so that's gonna be all for this video guys if you enjoyed um let me know if you want to see me do more reactions to this i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of legend za and other shenanigans um make sure to um yeah <laughs> If you enjoyed, check out my other content. Um, check out the observation video if you want to. It is a kind of long video like this, but if you're just doing dishes or cleaning and need something to listen to, there you go. Good video. Uh, hopefully.
but we do de we do do a lot more debunking in that so you boy jim signing out i hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day and um yeah